What is up? It is Berlin. Welcome. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back. Hi, how are you doing? Happy Friday. So, of course, I've got some drama to get into over here with you guys. I've got beauty drama. I've got Trisha Paytas drama to get into in this video as well. So, let's just get straight into it while I continue painting my face. Hopefully, I'll finish the look in this video. If not, then I'm getting ready to record another video anyway. So, I'm just going to be going along doing my makeup here while we chat about the drama and all the tea that is going on because there's a lot at the moment that I actually want to talk about and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is Alexis Stone. Alexis Stone if you don't know is a drag queen visual artist I would say all round kind of visionary doing stunts like plastic surgery stunts the famous one that's been on youtube for ages where alexis kind of transformed for six months and made everybody think that they'd had all of this facial surgery work done when it was all prosthetics so alexis is very much into the prosthetics the special effects type makeup artistry it is real real transformation real art i i would say it's like high art myself well alexis actually has a makeup brand which is called sensorium beauty now this is a brand that i do use i'm especially in love with their brow engineer product so alexis recently popped off on ig stories because this brow product the brow engineer has been duped by a big makeup company now of course the makeup company in question is makeup revolution now makeup revolution are also a company that alexis stone had actually collaborated with before alexis had like a rainbow eyeshadow palette with them and also a smaller five pan palette that had like five transformative shimmer shades in it so alexis did this collaboration with makeup revolution and now makeup revolution have brought out a solid brow product that's designed to bleach your brows it's called something like creator brow i'm going to pop an image in here but they've brought this product out and it's very shady because what they've done is they've used alexis stone's own campaign imagery from her sensorium beauty campaign for her own brow product now alexis has kind of backers in her beauty brand sensorium being be perfect so be perfect cosmetics work in collaboration with alexis creating this brand sensorium beauty so it's very shady that makeup revolution have now used alexis stone's imagery from her campaign for her product and also duped the product themselves Alexis spoke a lot about this on IG stories, actually also revealing how much she was paid from her Makeup Revolution collab that she did with them. Like the palette and everything. She put the figures up there. It's quite shocking and she spoke about it on IG as well. You have two options. One, you sit in silence and you take the hits personally behind closed doors on your own. Right, and that's what I'm doing in this moment. That might change in 24 hours because people may have convinced me that what I'm doing is not that. But everything that I do, I go in with just either a good, pure heart and intentions or sometimes I react out of frustration. Um, it's a frustrating situation. Is it a shocking one to me? No, I've kind of like been aware of this situation. Um, it's just kind of like the final nail in the coffin for me. Um, and I just wanted to sit here and just say that calmly. I think people read words um, in a narrative that they envision suits them. Um, I'm not angry. I'm not pressed. I'm not being a diva. Um, I'm just not... 
gonna sit back all the time and feel scared to do what I believe is right for me because social media tells me otherwise. I'm just using the platform I have to speak up about something that I just don't think is acceptable or cool or cute or respectful um, or needed in 2022. That's what you're gonna do. That's what you wanna put money behind, someone else's creativity and idea. I just think it's trash. Um, but we're used to the beauty industry being trash. Um, it's kind of why I took a big step away from it. And I've been focusing on all of these other elements in my life, the prosthetics, the stunts, um, the magic of it all. Beauty makeup, uh, for me, has changed. My interaction with it has changed. Um, I'm not involved in it other than being a working makeup artist. Um, my passion is for creating unique, clever products. Um, unless a brand tells me that um, I have to make an eyeshadow palette. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, I wasn't aware that they released the product. I saw it today and I just thought, right. And then I read the description. I just thought, that's what you're going to do. A transformative bleach brow effect product. I'm like, you could have just stuck my face on it and paid me the royalties if you wanted to just like steal someone else's creative ideas. Um, but I'm not surprised. It's business. Kind of sad that that's all we have to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you all. I'm not being a diva. I'm not being nasty. I'm not going to say anything below the belt. Um, that, I can guarantee, is not a part of my nature anymore. It's hard at times not to... It's hard sometimes. I've grown up on the internet. I've heard it all. I've interacted with a lot of people. I've been on both ends of it. So... Um, that's kind of where I'm at. Just frustrated. But it's the end of the day now. It's half eight in England. I'm going to log off. Um, but I've been honest and open. There's no hidden numbers. I've literally shown you how much money I get paid from them from years ago, which is not my life. Um, I kind of don't even... I couldn't tell you what I made last month from the commission. I don't look. Um, but that was a summary, I think, a year ago. Because I'd asked for it. Because I just wanted to maybe emphasize when the two numbers were next to each other that it was like daylight fucking robbery <laughs> but we make decisions when we're young and stupid and we get led and you're told you could buy a house with the money you make from this and all that stuff and you're like ah, bedazzled in fact that's the line that they use on all of them um that you could buy a house but yeah when you're offering three percent uh to collaborate with artists um that actually have creativity it's just robbery so this product this bleached brow effect product it's like a mascara i'll open it up for you like a mascara for your brows but only it's more like a cosmetic paint so it's got like a little sort of mascara wand applicator on it and the effect is it gives you the look like you've bleached your brows one of the jenners was actually i think it was kendall jenner was actually wearing that bleached brow product at the Met Gala recently. So it's very shady that Makeup Revolution have now duped Sensorium Beauty's product, come out with a cheaper dupe for the same product. But if you're an OG kind of beauty drama viewer, then you will know that this isn't the first time that Makeup Revolution have duped other brands. Makeup Revolution also duped Manny MUA's Luna Beauty highlighters back in the day. There was a whole thing with that. Manny even made a whole YouTube video on that himself as well. And I don't believe he ever heard anything back from the brand. So I don't know whether Alexis Stone will ever hear anything back from Makeup Revolution. And I don't think that Alexis was particularly shady or harsh there in the way that she's called them out. You know, I think it's just only right that if you've got a brand that's an independent makeup brand you know your brand whether you've got like a collaborator or a backer like be perfect or not if it's your brand your idea your creativity and somebody dupes your product because they see it on your website and then the cheek of it that they take your campaign imagery as well like that is too much you know duping the product right you know that happens it does happen all over the beauty industry of course it happens but to take alexis stone's own campaign imagery as well where it's actually her friend who's modeling the bleach brow product i was like 
wow that's really shitty you know that is that is bad i think that's really awful of makeup revolution to do that and i think that they should at least apologize to alexis if not give her a cut of the proceeds from this creator brow product let me know what you guys think about that one right i've got my base down apart from like blush and highlighter so now i'm going to move on to doing my eyes I am of course going to be using my new favourite banana fetish palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and we're going to move on to talking about Trisha Paytas because Trisha is in drama again. Recently Trisha came out talking about drama channels when she was driving in her car talking about drama channels, how a lot of drama channels watch her to hate her, they watch her every move, all of this. People come back to the same videos, they're the first under all my tweets and I'm like that's when I talk about obsession or even like you know <laughs> not all the drama channels will be like trisha attack me she's coming for me like i feel like every drama channel thinks i'm always talking about them which is like funny because i'm just saying as a whole because i don't really watch any in particular but it's just like some of them really dislike me you know i get it they're fans right like if you're if you actually like secretly like me okay cool and you're just trying to get views or money or whatever fine but there's some that genuinely dislike me so much and i'm like how are you following every little thing like the minute i post it but you like don't like me like what a waste of energy that is like it's so crazy and like then i ask like are you obsessed like are you are you obsessed with people in a good way like are there any people you are a fan of? and then of course drama channels made videos responding to that so one of the drama channels that made a video responded to Trisha was Shelby. Now, if you don't know Shelby, Shelby does like drama and sometimes makeup on YouTube. I watch her channel. I really enjoy her channel. And I really enjoyed the video that she made on Trisha recently about this topic. It was hilarious because I just think that Shelby said what we were all thinking, that Trisha plays the game, she plays into the drama because she knows that it's going to get attention and clicks and views, direct traffic towards her ASMR channel and her vlog channel, her family channel and all of that, you know. Trisha knows what she's doing and Shelby recently made a video talking about the fact that Trisha was kind of talking about drama channels and how drama channels are like stalkers and all of this. You know, so Shelby made this video. Sorry, I'm just looking for my eye shadow brushes. Shelby made this video and then she actually got blocked on Instagram by Trisha Paytas. So tell me that Trisha is not watching drama channels to see who says what about her. It's like, girl, we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing, Trisha. She blocked Shelby on Instagram. I know that she's also claimed Shelby's videos before copyright claims Shelby's videos before as well but this time she blocked Shelby on Instagram and I was like oh okay okay Trish okay Trish are you doing this to kind of draw even more attention to yourself blocking one of the drama channels that's not even like a huge huge drama channel someone that's a bit lesser known Shelby and yet Trisha must have watched her videos to block her you know what I mean Hi Shelby, if you see this video by the way. Hi, hello, how are you doing Shelby? So yeah, that is my thoughts on the whole Trisha Paytas drama. You know, Trisha loves to talk about all of the drama channels and all of that and get the attention on them, all of this. So let me know what you guys think about Trisha blocking drama channels. I don't know. Anyway, this is the look that I'm coming up with. So it's taking me a little while, so I'm going to go do the other eye. It said trust the patience no trust the patience no that's not right it said trust the process yeah so we're gonna go and do the other eye i'm gonna go and put some hair on finish the rest of my face and i'll be back with another video for you very soon take care stay safe stay well let me know what you think about all the drama with trisha with alexis i've also got some jeffree star drama i've got some other beauty drama as well that i want to come and make a video about so that will probably be my next video also i'm going to talk a little bit about elon musk because there's another scandal with elon musk so i'll be back soon take care stay safe stay well i love you guys thank you for watching bye